A group of people rallied together to gift a brand new PlayStation to a man with cerebral palsy. Yeah, his cousin organized the whole thing to make sure that he'd stay connected to a newfound group of friends. We were able to learn more on their heartwarming story. It's this week's Tell Me Good News. Oh, go Joey! Oh, get uh, out of here with that! I don't know what to do anymore. You got lucky, bro. I, I thought he fumbled it. At first glance, it seems like just a casual afternoon of two buds hanging out, trash talking over who's going to pull the win on Madden. But it's all love here. For cousins Cody and Jeffrey, it's bonding time. Oh, I thought you had it. Oh, I thought he had it too. <laughs> Jeffrey and Cody are playing their all-time favorite game together on the new PlayStation 5. Jeffrey, who has cerebral palsy, hasn't stopped playing it since Cody and a group of friends got it for him as a gift. He told me what one day that he was coming over here to uh, come to Springfield to visit his friend. The next thing you know, the next day, and then my other cousin Mikey, his brother, came in here. The next thing you know, surprise, PlayStation 5. The gaming fun all started during the coronavirus shutdown. A lot of my friends, right when COVID hit, that's kind of like what we resorted to is we started playing Madden or Call of Duty together, and then I introduced Jeffrey into the group, and all of my friends fell in love with Jeffrey because he's so awesome. Together playing online for hours on end. But as any gamer knows, new systems are always coming out, and it wasn't long before the gaming gang updated from the PlayStation 4 to the 5, everyone except for Jeffrey. We were just talking about like all these games that aren't going to be able to be played on the PS4 anymore. And I was like, we got to get Jeffrey a five. And I was like, all right, let's make it happen, guys. Cody organized a GoFundMe to get his cousin his very own system for his birthday. And the community sprang into action. And literally within a day, we got almost $1,000 for him to get a PS5. It's money well spent because Jeffrey hasn't stopped playing. Because I'm a gamer. I love video games and... Need the new system to play newer video games. Cody says it all comes down to just doing something nice for someone else. Grateful to those who donated so he and his cousin could stay connected around their passion. Even though he's a part of my family, he became a part of other people's family as well. Um, he's impacted a lot of people's lives just from us playing long nights on video games. So I wanted him to stay involved with everybody. Yeah, this story has a fluffy, feel-good ending, but it doesn't seem like that trash talking will stop anytime soon. PlayStation 5 would allow me to go get Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Tenkaichi 3. I think I would whoop him <laughs> so bad that he, would, that he would be like, Mom, I hate Jeffrey. I'm <laughs> going away. Yeah, he'd probably work I, me I was that. so good at that game. When that's my favorite part. Yeah, Jeffrey says that. he's crossing <laughs> his fingers for that Dragon Ball Z game, and he's so thankful for all the people that donated to that GoFundMe that's allowed him to continue playing online with his buddies. Very cool story. We want to hear your good news. To share your heartwarming stories from around the Miami Valley, head to WDTN.com. Click on Tell Me Good News. You'll find that under the News tab. Your story could be featured right here on 2 News Today.